Hello, Rob here. So on my student dietitian placement and I've just finished Tuesday. I missed a video from yesterday. It was a super busy day and then it turned into quite a busy evening as well. So I didn't get a chance to record anything, but the two days have been very similar. So I'm happy to report on what happened yesterday as well in today's episode. So late finish today, but feeling really pleased. Um, I've I've said for a long time, I've not felt quite as confident on the wards in comparison to my community on the telephone uh, dietetic placement, but today went really well and I managed to finish the whole caseload I was given, which is the first time I've done that. I had two new reviews, which is um, a patient that's been referred to the department, hasn't been seen before. They might have seen been seen historically, but not for this particular admission. Uh, so a range of cases. I had a alcoholic liver disease patient of which, you know, I've had quite a few of, so I felt I was able to put a, into place a lot of my previous learning and come up with a really robust plan uh, for that patient. Um, quite interesting to see as well that medically the patient wasn't um, wasn't particularly concerning for, for the team, but dietetically he had a lot going on and was quite poorly from that perspective. So to see the two differences and whereas maybe they're looking at discharging him uh, you know, quite soon, it's a patient that dietetically we'd want to follow up because there's a lot, a lot we could do. Um, obviously, you know, compliance is going to be an issue there then because they're not in hospital and then goes to the community team. But it was interesting to see how those differences arise. And then the other one was a new diabetic, which is the first time I've actually come across a new diabetic patient whilst in hospital. Um, I've had a few over the telephone, which, you know, GP will pick up a, a, an elevated HbA1c, so that's a measure of the amount of glucose in the blood that's been glycated, so it's been exposed to glucose over time, and there's a marker we can measure. Um, this is more of an acute episode where they'd felt unwell for some time, so that had led to the admission to hospital, um, and it took a little while as well to pick up on what was going on with the bloods. Um, there's still some investigations going on, which made it quite a, an interesting case. And what I really enjoyed about it um, was that the patient was super keen to have input from uh, you know the dietetic department and was really interested in diet and had an understanding of what changes needed to be made. Um, so therefore was was keen to kind of get an, an official backing, if you will, of you know this is what you can do to to improve because. Um, they were they were keen to reduce their blood sugars anyway because that was part of the the caveat of when they could go home, um, and I managed to speak to the diabetic nurse on the ward as well to so get a little bit involved with the team there, and uh, they were just telling me like some of the events they do as well, so that was really cool to hear. And then the three reviews there was like a bonus review as well where I was just following up on someone who was supposed to have been discharged which they were, but yeah, managed to make good time. And then uh, my supervisor and I went round the wards and kind of wrapped up all of my assessments, just looking through what I'd written in the uh, medical notes and seeing if there's anything uh, they wanted to add to the plan. But, you know, there were a few little, uh, little bits to add here and there, but overall really good feedback and yeah, really pleased with my timekeeping as well. A little bit late finishing, but it's amazing. You can see the difference between Obviously, once you're established and you're working more independently, obviously you still have a supervisor versus being a student where literally, you know, within reason, everything you do gets checked. So it takes a lot longer to do things. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of, I think, my last proper day on the wards now in Royal Glamorgan Hospital. Um, tomorrow, I've got a few uh, admin things to do in the morning, got a workbook and I'm doing my halfway review, which is something they do on all of the placements where you'll... Uh, meet up with both your university, let's try again, university supervisor and your placement supervisor and have two separate teams meetings and your uh, supervisor goes through your portfolio today so that's looking at the tools um, and what evidence you've collected so far. Uh, hopefully that'll, that should be uh, not too problematic. And then in other news, um, looking forward to tonight, we've got our kind of class online team session, which is uh, scheduled weekly. And this will be just off the back of the new recruitment process. So the streamlining service that's been implemented. Um, it's an interesting way of doing things. It is very different and it's very new. So I think there are obviously gonna be issues as this goes along. Uh, but the main concern we've all got and uh, somebody picked up on quite quickly was that there's only something like 
27 jobs listed and there's I think 43 of us when you include the undergraduates and the postgraduates so uh, not enough jobs as at the moment and the idea of the system was that there is an equal number of jobs and applicants um, we have recognised that Comtat, which is where I'm working now, haven't put their jobs up, so we're told there's going to be another six to go on there uh, sometime soon. But I hope they do get up soon, because this isn't a particularly long application window, and people are obviously putting preferences in already. Uh, and it is one of the areas I, I want to consider. Um, I definitely mentioned in Cardiff, because I live here, uh, Newport, because it, again it's very close, and Comtat, because it's, uh, it's pretty close. And I've worked in a few of the hospitals then really enjoyed my time really nice team so i'd be more than happy there um the only thing i was a little bit disappointed i suppose is a reasonable word for it is that the the jobs are pretty much just listed as a band five rotational post so that's where you go through a few of the different specialities um i think for example i saw that cardiff and vale's one is six months uh, you do like acute community um i think pete was included in that as well uh, and a few other areas and you just kind of work your way around gradually so you get experience you know across a range of uh, areas but I think for those who perhaps have a better idea of what they want to go into or maybe don't feel as comfortable in certain areas they'd be keen to apply for a specific role early on and they don't seem to be giving themselves that opportunity we need to go straight into a, a specific a rotational post and, and that's across all the health boards and we're not applying for individual hospitals either uh, we are of just applying for health boards so it does mean that initially you might not be too sure where you're going to end up because some of the health boards are quite big uh, obviously if there's not capacity in a certain hospital you'll be asked to go somewhere else so you could be you know commuting a little bit further than uh, than you'd expect it. but hey ho you know that's uh, that, that's how the process is going at the moment I'm not going to worry about it too much obviously you know once you're there and you're in there's nothing stopping you applying from other jobs as time goes on so but you know we'll see how it goes i guess uh, I, i'm i'm happy i think initially i was leaning more towards definitely going down a community but now a rotational post is appealing a little bit more because i've enjoyed my time on the wards in royal glamorgan feeling more confident with it and i do see the benefits of getting that experience in a number of areas i can see it it rounds out your uh, development and your understanding of the profession a bit more and ultimately you know down the line i think you're going to be a better dietitian for it so yeah that's uh, that's my two cents as i said yesterday was pretty much the same as today i didn't quite get through my caseload but uh, yeah it was really nice to finish on that and uh thursday is the last day so it's just today and tomorrow and then another weekend and i'm on to uh spotty come rumva for my consolidation so Hopefully, I'll speak to you tomorrow if it's uh, not quite as late as a finish, but uh, yeah, all the best.